We stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Wasatch. I'm Lucy Randall, your secretary historian. And I'm Amy Sims, one of your seventh grade reps. And I'm Bob and here again. Okay. The semester one art show was full of works from many talented artists. Thank you, everyone who voted on the show. Um, in total, we got 263 ballots. The results are in, and wait to see the next video on Monday that will reveal the winners. Okay, High School Musical 2 tickets, online ticket sales for this year's musical. High School Mu Musical 2 begin, begins soon, starting February 11th at 7 p.m. You can go online to buy tickets for $5 each. The show runs March 14th, 15th, 16th, and 7th, and 18th at 7 p.m. in the Wasatch Junior High Auditorium. Get your tickets early so you don't miss out on this amazing performance by some pretty great Wasatch students. Get, uh, get your tickets now. Hello, Wasatch 6th and 7th graders. It is that time of year, the time that you have all been waiting for, election time. We will be having an informational meeting on Wednesday, February 13th for anyone who is interested in being an SBO or a 7th grade rep. Please plan on attending between 3 and 3.30 if you are a 7th grader interested in being an SBO and between 3.30 and 4 if you are a 6th grader in interested in being a 7th grade rep. The meeting will be held in Mrs. Whitaker's room at 2.20. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Whitaker. Looking forward to seeing you there. Okay. Remember, there is parent-teacher conferences on Monday and Tuesday after school. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Super Bowl of Karen. We were, help we were helping people and kids eat all over around the world. Um, we made $1,890.89, which wasn't quite our goal, so we will not be having the awards simply. But since we did meet some of our goals, we will be rolling in the snow today, and we will be having a pajama day next Thursday. Congrats, and um, thank you, everyone. Okay, keep calm and join our choir. If you're, okay, it's easy. Sign up or post it in the choir, choir room, and tryouts are March 11th through the 15th. There will be a TSA meeting on Wednesday, February 13th, after school in the room 108. We will be preparing for the field trip in March. Over the call out of the month. Welcome to Weber State. We're excited to show you around our beautiful campus. But first, let us show you why we think Weber State is great, great, great. Weber State welcomes everyone. Here you will learn in small classes where professors know your name and take time for you. Four out of five freshman classes have fewer than 30 students. With over 225 degrees and programs, more than any other school in Utah, Weber State has something for you. Everything from accounting to zoology. Don't let costs stand in the way of your college dreams. Weber State has one of Utah's lowest tuition rates and awards more than $100 million every year in financial aid and scholarships. That means that Weber State graduates have the least amount of student debt in Utah. You can make a difference. In the last few years, Weber State students have contributed 765,000 volunteer hours in the community. Join your friends to fight hunger, build homes, revitalize neighborhoods, or help children in need. Weber State bleeds purple, but lives green. Be part of a school that's nationally recognized for its commitment to a sustainable future. Good morning, Wasatch. Glad to have you here. Just a couple of announcements before we get moving on. Uh, so next Monday and Tuesday is our student-led conferences or parent-teacher conferences. They go from 4 to 7. Uh, PM in the afternoon and evening. So be sure to bring your mom and dad, uh, show them the things that you've learned, talk about your goals, uh, how you've been doing on your assessments, and sharing that information with them, as well as talking with some of your teachers. The other reason I am here is because some of you 
have decided to vandalize and beat up our change machine down the vending machines. And so in so doing, you've broken it. And uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about, some of you. And so what will happen is either A, we turn it off and you don't have it anymore, or B, you leave it alone and treat it with respect like it's supposed to and we continue to have it, or C, we have the camera pointed directly at that and anyone that touches the machine inappropriately will be charged with vandalism and theft. So it's your choice. Those are the three options. You can treat it respectfully like we're supposed to do and we've been doing for years and years until this year for some reason or we can shut it off and not have it, or you can be charged with vandalism and theft. That's your choice. So I hope you choose the first one in showing respect and being accountable uh, warriors that you are. With that, have a great day, Wasatch. Hey there, Wasatch. I'm Gabe Jens with your Fun Fact Friday. Fun fact, over 40,000 people per year get injured on toilets. Now back over to your SBOs. Have a great day, Wasatch.